Hello from CNN London, I'm Monita Rajpal. This is World Report. A new revelation following a deadly attack. A former U.S. intelligence official tells CNN the suicide bomber who killed seven CIA officials last week was a Jordanian double agent. The man who set off his explosives on a CIA base in Afghanistan had been considered a loyal source. Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr brings us details. In Yemen say they are taking the fight to the militants. Forces battled suspected al-Qaeda fighters outside the capital city of Sana'a. Two militants were killed in the firefight. They were reportedly linked to recent threats by al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Where President Ali Abdullah Saleh visited... For decades, Cuba's Fidel Castro was a thorn in the side of a string of U.S. leaders. But when Barack Obama was elected president, relations appeared to be ripe for repair. Now, thawing relations are icing back over. Shasta Darlington looks at a budding political love affair gone sour. Argentinian musician Sandro was 64 years old. Since the 18th century, the music of Mozart has captivated millions. Now the composer's newest fans may also be his youngest. Paula Hancocks tells us about a pair of babies who could get a, a hefty health benefit from the relaxing tunes. And we now bring you a story that's music to astronomers' ears. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope has found five new planets deep in space, all orbiting stars. It's been slow going for many travelers in China thanks to freezing temperatures and snowstorms. We want to get the very latest now from uh, CNN senior international correspondent John Vaz in Beijing. It's, it's cold where you are, John, but it's pretty cold where people were in Mongolia as well. John, get a hat, stay warm. Thank you very much for that. John Vos in yeah, Beijing, and of you. course we want to see uh, where else, how the weather is uh, faring in other parts of the world. And uh, Mari, I was talking to my folks in Toronto yesterday, and they were saying it was minus 16 degrees Celsius there yep. before the wind chill, and they were laughing at me because I was saying it was freezing here, and it was just, I think, about two degrees here. Yeah, I think it's all relative when it comes to this weather. Uh, amazing, those pictures. Makes me that glad I'm over here. <laughs> it's all relative, as you say. Mari, yep. thank you very much. And uh, we want to show you a photograph, a picture of Tiger Woods, as you've probably never seen him before. This is the latest cover of Vanity Fair magazine with the world's number one golfer. I'm Juanita Rajpal in London. World Sport is next.